welcome to the craft room and welcome to a holiday crochet quick fix. This is a refresher on our little granny triangle cornucopia that we did on a live stream a little while ago. Hope you enjoy and we'll see you soon. Today we're going to make these cute little granny triangle cornucopias. They can hang on the tree, you can stuff them full of all sorts of nice little goodies, and they're a neat alternative to the classic Christmas stocking. You need around 7 to 10 yards of an acrylic size 4 medium weight yarn. I have some pretty little self-striping Christmas color here. You want a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. This is also known as an H or an 8, but you can use any hook size that's comfortable with the yarn you've chosen. And once you've got that together, we can get started. We're going to begin with a granny triangle, and granny shapes typically start in the center and work outwards. We're going to start with a slip knot on our hook, and we're going to chain four. You can chain more if you need more. What we're doing is creating a ring to start our work in. So once you've chained the number of chains you want, join with a slip stitch to the first chain, and you'll have a little ring. And we'll be working all of our stitches into the center of this ring. Row one and every row begins with a chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet. Two more double crochet worked right into the middle of that ring, and as you add stitches into that ring, it will get bigger and easier to see. So even if the first two feel a little funny, it'll be able to see the ring a little more easier. There you go, after that. Three double crochet equals one shell, and this is a triangle, so we need three shells in our first row. Chain two, chain two turns a corner, Three more double crochet into that ring. That's shell number two. Chain two. Three more double crochet into that ring. And before you close off a row, chain two more. That's our three shells. We're going to find the top of our chain three that began the row, and we're going to slip stitch to join. Now at the end of every single row, I like to find my three corners and pull them out a little bit, just to keep things nice and flat. There is the base of our granny triangle. At the end of every row, I like to slip stitch across the next two double crochets. So these are just the double crochets that were part of that first shell, and then slip stitch into the corner space. This allows me to start in a corner. It also keeps me going always in one direction, which keeps the fronts of my stitches always facing in the same direction, so I have a right and a wrong side to my granny triangle. Every row begins with a chain three. That counts as a double crochet. We work two more double crochet into the corner space. And that is shell number one. We're still in a corner, so we're going to set ourselves up for the next corner, chain two, and before we leave, three more double crochet into the corner. When you're working along a straightaway, so you're working over top of shells from the previous row, I like to chain one just to hop over the shell. That brings us to another corner space, and the corner space gets shell, chain two, shell, or three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Try not to work too tightly. Try to keep your stitches even, even a little on the loose side. Granny triangles are on the small side, so there is a tendency to want to buckle a little bit in the middle. Shell, chain two, shell. That's worked into every corner space. Of course, there are three corner spaces on every row. Chain one when you're hopping across a shell, and finish off in the last corner space with three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, or shell, chain two, shell. Chain one, because you're hopping over top of a shell, and join the row with a slip stitch in the top of the first chain three that began. Pause, grab your corners, pull them out, keep things nice and flat, and there's two rows done. Like the last row, you slip stitch across those two 
double crochets and into the chain two space. Row three and row four are pretty much identical. Always begin in the corner space, chain three to begin. Chain three counts as a double crochet. Because we're in a corner space, we are working three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. All worked into that same little corner space. And of course, that sets you up for the next corner. Now we have two shells to work across, Oop, and there's a space in between. So as you work over a shell, chain one to hop the shell. If you're in a chain one space from the previous row, you work three double crochet. If it's a chain one space, it gets one shell. If it's a chain two space, it gets two shells. Easy to remember. Chain one. Hop over top of your last shell on that side. That brings you to a corner space. That's a chain two space, so it gets two shells. Or shell, chain two, shell. All worked into the same space. Now this is a quick fix. We are moving a little faster than we normally do, and we do have a granny triangle uh, tutorial that goes a little slower. So if you need to see this a little slower, we'll link that tutorial down below. Chain one to hop over top of the shell, three double crochet into the chain one space, because one chain one space gets one shell. There's one more shell to hop over, so we chain one, and we're back to a corner space. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I think you've got the picture now. I'm gonna let you finish this row on your own. At the end of your row, don't forget to chain one to jump over top of your last little shell, and you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain three that began the row. Slip stitch across those double crochets and into the corner space. Starting in a corner space just makes things easier to keep track of, and always tug out your corners. Technically, you can make these triangles any size you want by continuing to add rows. Every row begins with a chain three. The chain three counts as a double crochet. You're always starting in a corner space, so you always finish off that corner space with three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And remember that chain three counts as one of those double crochets. So there is your corner. Every row is going to increase by an extra shell and an extra chain one space running down the sides, but your corners will always be three and they'll always be in the corners. Just remember whenever you get to a shell, chain one to hop over top of it. If it's a chain one space, it gets one shell, which is three double crochet. Chain one to hop over the shell. Don't miss any of those spaces or it'll throw off the shape of your triangle. Don't get too excited when you get up to the corner space to forget to chain one to hop over that shell and then shell, chain two, shell in the corner. Every row is the same hereafter, but I'm only gonna do four rows today for our little cornucopia. So I'm gonna let you guys finish off row four on your own and then we're gonna turn this thing into a little hanger. At the end of your last row, don't forget to slip stitch across those stitches and up into the corner space because we want to be there to start our little cornucopia. So that's four rows of a little granny triangle. And before I do anything else, I'm going to create the hanger from which it hangs. So here it is finished and here's the little hanger back at the back. I'm going to chain 10. and I'm gonna slip stitch right back into the same space. So here's my little hanger. If I was just gonna leave it as a little triangle, there's a hanger and that'll hang just nicely on its own. <laughs> but in order to turn it into a cornucopia, I'm going to hop across to the chain two corner space opposite, and I'm just gonna line that up with the corner space below my hanger so that I'm folding my triangle in half lengthwise. I'm going to slip stitch right into that space. And now I've joined the top. So there's a nice little join there. There's my little open space. And all we wanna do now is seam up the edge. Now you can single crochet down the edge, you can slip stitch down the edge, or if you're really short on yarn, cut yourself a tail and just whip stitch the edge. But I'm gonna slip stitch, and all I'm gonna do is grab the sort of the back loop of the top stitch. So I'm gonna look at these three stitches 
and reach across and grab the front loop of the stitch opposite. So you can do the whole stitch if you want, or you can just do the little loops of the stitches that butt up against each other. I find this makes kind of a neat little seam. And then you're just grabbing those little loops all the way down. Really simple. Just make sure you don't miss any. You want to get the loops of your chain one spaces too. Loop, loop. Nice and simple. Try not to make your chains too tight. Uh, but you don't want them to be too loose either. And you're just going to work your way all the way down the edge. You can kind of flatten it up as you go. And because there's an equal number of stitches and chains on both sides of our triangle, because this is an equilateral triangle, you will have the right number of stitches and chains to work through all the way down as you create your nice tidy little seam. And if you miss one or you skip one or you have to use one twice, don't worry about it. This is a very forgiving little pattern. And when you get down to the bottom, just slip stitch through the last little set. Give it a stretch to stretch it out. Trim up your yarn and fasten off. And you can just grab your yarn tail and weave your tail in to the inside. I like to grab, sort of I tuck it back in underneath and then I just wiggle it through some of the stitches. You can't see my needle and that's good. I can feel the stitches on the inside of my little cornucopia and I may have cut more tail than I need here. I just wiggle it through and I'm going to stretch this out to make sure it doesn't want to fold up on me and I'm going to trim any excess. This is an ornament so you don't really have to worry about anything coming undone. And there you go. It's like a little hanging pocket. It's a little cornucopia. You can hang it on the tree, you can hang it on a gift, and of course you can stuff it full of some nice little goodies. Like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> a new crochet hook, a candy cane perhaps. I've got one of those right here. Maybe some nice new markers, a chocolate bar, anything your heart desires. And of course, if you make a bigger triangle, you'll have a bigger cornucopia, which of course can accommodate bigger gifts. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little crochet quick fix, and we will see you again soon here on the Jada and Stitches show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and have a great week. Bye, guys. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.